Hello, hello. Let's talk drawing conclusions. Big words, but this is something you already know how to do. I will show you what you already know. So let's draw conclusion. Did you see the rainbow colors? How fun is that? What you do when you're drawing conclusions is you take the information from the text, use what you already know, and come up with something new. You draw a conclusion. Look at the little girl who's ready to sketch her conclusion. You can be like her too. Let's see this beautiful scene. See how the sun has come up. And you see little Sammy and little Bobby with their lunch bags and their backpacks. And there's the school bus. Okay. Based on the information that you see, the sun is up and these kids are ready to go to school. It means it's school pickup time, not drop off time. So that's a conclusion that you could draw easily. See how easy that was? Let's apply this to a text. All right. So the text detail is that in the wild they live for 12 to 15 years. This is from paragraph 2. In the wild, the jaguars live from 12 to 15 years. This is a passage about cool cats, and we see a baby cool cat in the picture. How cute is that? So what do you know? You have seen some wild animals that live in the zoo. Hmm, let's put these two together to draw a conclusion, which is, in zoos, how long jaguars live is different. If they live in the wild for 12, 15 years, 12 to 15 years, and you know that some animals live in the zoo, some wild animals, you have seen them in the zoo, that means if baby jaguars or big jaguars lived in the zoos, how long they would live would be different. That is a conclusion that you draw so easily. Next time you read a text, use the information that you see in the text. And use your big brain, things that you already know. Apply it to come to a conclusion. Now that ends our lesson. More later. Bye-bye.